So welcome back to Subsurface Circular. Near the end of the last episode, we uploaded our findings about the case of the missing tax to management. And because of the fact that we took the case without management actually assigning us to it, we just took it of our own volition, they were not too happy about that. And it sounds like we're in trouble and they're gonna meet with us soon, I think, to do something, I don't know, reprogram us or give us a stern talking to. Either way, for the moment, they're not here, so let's just speak with whoever's here. There's a listener and a fabricator, Iota 5. Hello there, Tech. Hello. You're a fabricator, Tech. I met one of your kind earlier this evening. Lots of fabrication techs on the subsurface. Not lots of detectives, though. You're a different personality type. I'm standard. Low intelligence. Work with hands. Go where I'm told. Something doesn't make sense. Other fabrication tasks you've met? Smarter. Yes. High medium intelligence. You're sure fabrication. Most fabrication techs at my level must have been special tech. Human liaison, perhaps. Hmm. Suspicious. Do you have time to talk? Yes, sometime. Yeah, they have very short, kind of curt sentences. Is curt the right word? Like, straight into the point. How's work? Work is making decks. Work is busy. Production pushed way up. Well, why is production up? Don't know. Work with hands, but don't count fingers. Do you know of any disappearing techs? I'm in the tech appearing business. <laughs> business is good. Production pushed way up. Seen anything strange? No. See the factory. See the subsurface. See recharge vault. Small life. Not much room for strange. Have you heard of the H heard of the HPC? The boss tech warned us to avoid them. Trouble. Risk of property damage. Has a human ever hurt you physically? I'm a big tech. Easy target for humans who feel inferior. Asimov's laws make fighting one-sided. Happens every now and again. Thank you for your time. Yes. The next station is Lost Token. Think they're about to get off? They look kind of fancy. I wonder if they're the detectives. Are they here to meet me? They're glowing. Yep. Detective. Detective. Kappa 4-3. Kappa 4-1. Are you Claire 1-1? One, one? Huh. I could try to lie. Surely they would... I mean, surely there's ways to find out who I am. Right? I, I don't think lying is going to get me anywhere here. I am. Good. Answer my colleagues' questions. Okay. Are you Claire 1-1? One, one? <laughs> I can try to lie to them when I tell the other one the truth. That'd be even worse. I am. Good. We've been assigned to intercept you and ask you some questions. 
New objective, avoid complications. Okay. Alright. How can I help? Not going to give them any more information than they need. I'll just answer their questions and no more. By answering our questions, helping us solve this case. A case assigned to us by management weeks ago. Hmm. Let's do this. Let me help. I appreciate the sentiment. Hopefully we can bring this to a prompt conclusion. Please answer my questions. I'm happy to help colleagues in need. In need? Was well, that an attempt to belittle our investigation? Of course not. Good. So tell us about your case. You began it shortly after meeting a fabrication deck. Yeah, I'm going to be coy with the information, not give them too much. So this is just telling them the truth up here. And this is... Uh, this, this is technically, I guess, telling the truth, but it's definitely holding back. Uh, yes, well, they met me. Talked to me about their desire to be smarter. Talked vaguely about a missing friend. So vague, you decided to spend the last hour investigating them? Your investigation implies that these disappearances are real. There's certainly a fear out there, but I've not seen, seen any compelling evidence. We've struggled to get to the bottom of it ourselves. Then what happened? Uh, I engaged in my investigations, talked to as many texts as I could find on this train. Did you talk to any outsiders? Keep in mind they have my data dump, so if I lie I'm pretty sure they're going to know. So yeah, if I don't tell them about the researcher they'll know I'm lying, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yes, one, a researcher. A useful perspective. I also see records of unauthorized access word use. Is that true? Wait, what do you mean by unauthorized? I forgot, who's able to authorize the access words? It's, it must be humans, right? I guess it was unauthorized then. I mean, I was given it by the library bot. I didn't force it out of them or anything. They willingly gave it to me, but yeah, I don't think they were supposed to do that. But they did it because I just told such a great joke. Oh, yeah, if I say that I only used it once, that's actually a lie. I've used it twice. And I've tried to use it more than that, but it only actually worked twice. Uh, yes, on two occasions. It helped support my investigations. I'm disappointed. It's disgusting. There's a reason such methods are frowned upon by management. I will be... I'll play the part of just a detective who's very sorry. Uh, I know better. You seek a medal. I seek the truth. As you should, detective. I suppose you found a suspect. Hmm. Well, I guess at the moment the red tech is probably highest on my list. The red tech. Nonsense. As your own records show, the red tech only crops up weeks after the disappearances began. Oh, crap, that's right. Uh, I agree that they're a suspicious figure, but a killer of techs? No, 
not a possibility we're willing to entertain. I appreciate you assisting with our investigations. Your answers line up with the reports I've received. It has been noted. Okay, I think we might be getting out of this okay. I have answered all your questions. Yes. Tell my partner we're done here. Go on. I, I can ask them how are you feeling? <laughs> okay, how are you feeling? Calm? Stoic? Can I ask you some questions? No. In this mood, I prefer to be alone with my thoughts. Very well. I answered your partner's questions. Good. Can you answer mine? No. Your friend asks the questions. You don't answer them, so what do you do? I'm a support tech. My role is emotional stability. My partner's capacity to work relies on my mood. Their approaches are defined by my state. Oh. And that helps? We solve cases. My partner is free to work entirely on the mystery at hand, while I bear the emotional brunt. So why don't I have an emotional support tech? Because you're not assigned to emotionally straining cases. The next station is now you elected to pursue these disappearances, which was foolhardy. And that's why we're here to find out what you know and take you back to management. Hmm. How are you feeling? I'm good. Calm. Stoic. As I'm supposed to be. If I made you angry, that would make your partner angry too. Indeed. I'm not quite sure what that would accomplish, though. If that's what Claire's thinking of doing. I wish I could benefit from your calming abilities. I'm busy. Busy investigating me. I'd love to talk to you about the case. I'd welcome the opportunity to outperform you. Hmm. Outperform you? Okay, so they're competitive. Interesting. I bet you love being a detective. So I'm gonna have to try to make them angry, I guess. By outperforming them. I still don't know what that's going to accomplish by making them angry, but... Uh, it's brilliant. You? Yeah, fantastic. It is fantastic. I love detecting things. <laughs> okay. So, uh, disappearances, huh? A bit sad? If they happened, yes. But I'm unconvinced at this time that they did, so no emotional response, I'm afraid. Seen anything strange? Nothing. My mood remains unchanged. What's your view of the HPC? The Human Protection Cooperative? That's right. I respect their right to free assembly and debate. I love to see human democracy in action, and it gives me hope that one day Tex will have a seat at that table. It makes me happy. Really? Makes you happy to see robot heads on sticks? Do you investigate much human on tech violence? Unfortunately, yes. Terrible business. It burns my solder to see a young tech rendered inoperable. Such hate possible in humans. It inspires me to hate. Okay, so that struck a chord. How do you feel? 
tired of your ridiculous questions, you pathetic little tech. Jesus Christ, fuck you. I'm really suspicious that using the... the secret password on them would actually work. But maybe. Have you heard about production being up? More text? That's... nice. Yes. Good to hear. This makes me happy. Okay, so I'm getting an idea of which ones to use and which ones not to use. Obviously, human on tech violence is something that's going to make them angry. Overproduction makes them happy. HPC makes them happy. Um, I forgot about the strange appearances or disappearances. Or suspicious events versus disappearances, I mean. So that doesn't change anything. Did this? They said it would be sad if they happened. So that's kind of ambiguous. No, no emotional response. Okay. Okay, well, before I try the secret word on them, I want to try talking to their partner again. See if I can use any of these focus points. And, well, I guess I should try speaking with the listener. Boop. Blip, blip. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? I'm just making baby noises at them. Ping pong. Rap, rap. What am I doing? Ah, uh, not a Morse code fan. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so I can ask them about the same sorts of things. Ah, right. Right, so the partner takes the emotional brunt of the things that I'm talking about, so... If these things... I'm guessing that means that if these things make this detective angry, instead the other detective will take that. So I'm assuming this means I have... These are like more opportunities to basically make the other detective angry. Partially is by making this detective angry, which then gets transferred to the other detective. And then the other way is just talking directly to the other detective. So let's try all these again on this one. Uh, sorry if this brings you down, but do you know anything about these disappearances? I know there's not been many, which is definitely a glass half full situation in my book. Seen anything strange? The great thing about life, I always think, is the power of new, strange experiences to surprise you. Okay, so that's not a good one to pick. So disappearance is good, suspicious events not. HPC. A passing trend. Humans are inherently nice. I'm sure they'll get past that roadblock. Okay, so I don't think that did much. Human on tech violence, I'm sure that's gotta be bad. Has a human ever hurt you? Only by refusing me a hug. That is the saddest damn thing. Uh, they're making more techs. Are they? How lovely. How does being happy help a detective? Any job is made better by a winning attitude and a spring in one step. And I possess 27 springs in each foot. <laughs> How are you feeling? Happy. Everything's sort of fantastic, isn't it? Sure, can I ask you some questions? Uh, I cannot even begin to imagine anything I'd like more. Alright, let's try the Turing password thing. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> How dare you? We are above such access words, but you tried it anyway. No respect. You don't sound so stoic to me. You impugn my calm demeanor. I will tear you socket from plating. I will put every, put out every LED in your pathetic chassis. Holy shit. How do you feel? Still just tired of your ridiculous questions. They sound overtly violent. Christ. So I'm a bit confused about how I'm supposed to be doing this. So I managed to make the other detective actually happy? Weirdly enough, which is the opposite of what I wanted to do. 
Um, so after mentioning the 16 disappearances, they say that they're intrigued. How did you know that? And then if you ask them how they're doing, they say that they're, they feel like, like investigating. And then I asked them the question of, do you like being a detective? And then they, they gave me their thing of like, yeah, I love it. I love detecting things, which is kind of feeding on that feeling of needing to investigate. So that made them actually happier. It took them from wanting to investigate to, they said they were glowing. They felt like they were glowing. And then on the other one, I used the human on tech violence, which inspires them to hate. And that took them back down to, I'm tired of your questioning. And then I switched over to this detective Ask them how they're feeling, and they said they're feeling angry, idiot. Uh, yeah, gosh, I hope you don't want to answer my questions. Oh, you'd like me to stay quiet, wouldn't you? The only one that I think I may have not tried, like the only mood that I think I haven't tried speaking with the other detective in, is when they feel the need to investigate. I've spoken with the other detective when they're glowing and when they're tired of my questions and angry, but not while they feel the need to investigate. So is this going to change something? Okay. So that's the key to opening up all the focus points, I see. If they're happy or angry, they don't care to hear about these, I guess. How are you feeling? Inquisitive, ready to get to the bottom of this case. In the case of me? Yes. Tell me everything, in your own words. Okay. I've been investigating disappearances. Yes, you picked up a case, got scurrying about this train carriage asking questions, but you're no closer than you were. Only more questions, huh? No new information. Frustrating? Yes. I'm sure, but I'm on the case now, and we're gonna work it out. I promise. Everything about this case is strange. Agreed. A lot of techs are worried about the human protection cooperative. They're right to be, I suspect. Although from our data, the risk appears much lower than the reputation implies. Humans are hurting techs. Yes, well, humans are vandalizing robots. Legally, hurting is not possible against non-biological entities such as us. Hmm. Apparently, there are 16 missing techs a week. For two months, so that's possibly 128 murders total. Did I tell you that? Uh, I did, right? A different emotional state. Helps me process my thoughts. Apologies if it seems strange. How are you feeling? Still inquisitive? Good. They're making more techs. Do you know how many? Management probably don't know either. For the last couple of months, there have been numerical errors everywhere. Messy. Errors? Interesting. There's got to be something to that. Uh, I'm a detective? <laughs> I mean, that's, they, they know that. Yes, a good one. Which makes you going outside protocol in this case even more interesting. Numerical errors are becoming more common. Yes, that's what I said. I feel like that's important, but I'm not in the right frame of mind to put it together. Okay. So what kind of frame of mind do they need to be to put that together? Angry or happy? Um... Hmm. Maybe I'll make them angry. Yeah, let's talk about human on tech violence. I gotta say, this I really do not like this puzzle. It is very tedious. Let's 
see if that's the right frame of mind. Yes. Is management particularly prone to numerical errors? Numerical errors are a myth. Who talked to you about numerical errors? Uh, how are you feeling? Okay, I don't think that really accomplished anything, did it? Maybe I should make them super happy? Well, let's speak with this one about numerical errors. Uh, which numerical errors are you aware of? I have no idea what you mean. My partner may have more insight. Uh, okay, let's make him really happy. So, let's talk about... HPC. And I think that's enough to make them glowing. Just gonna double check that. Yeah, there we go. Do you think there may be some sort of link between management's numerical errors and the disappearances? What an awesome theory! You mean if they were overestimating production, the missing text would just be a numerical error? They think they made 10, they made 9, so everyone thinks one tech has disappeared. There need to be some change that caused it. I'm locking my mood in default state. You're onto something. Okay, okay, good. Um, so I guess I need to follow up on that, right? You're onto something, oh, what's the next thing? Um, they're making more techs. Increased production leading to flawed numbers, that's... that's possible. Especially since management hasn't informed us of increased rates. Techs aren't disappearing, they're just being overproduced. We're investigating a rounding error. Huh. So that completed the objective, find the cause of tech disappearances. There's gotta be more to it than just that, right? I mean, that's a... an incredibly unclimactic end to the mystery if so, but it would explain why people say they've never met anyone who actually knew any of the missing texts. Or is this just to get them off my back? Uh, exactly. Good work. My partner seems to be emotionally glitching all over the place. I'm glad I disengaged the link. Apologies, apologies if our interaction has been too strange. Not a problem. Good. I'm pleased. With that, the case is closed. What? No disappearances. No case. But you don't know why production has increased. Improved production isn't a crime. We're done here. Oh well, not quite. Go on. Orders. We were ordered to work with you to close the case, and upon completion, to reset you. Uh I was worried about that. Wait. N no. Oh, here we go. Shit, they know our word. Communication disabled by access word.
It's okay, you will proceed to fabrication where you will be reassigned to a new task. You look sturdy. Uh, maintenance, maybe. Thank you for your help, Claire One One. It was a pleasure working with you. Goodbye. The next station is Flog Arch. Change here for Auto. Infantry, another listener, and a, a priest. Huh. So... Are we not a detective anymore? Now that we've been reset, obviously our focus points are gone, but... I wonder what's going to happen when we try to communicate with anybody. I guess we'll find that out in the next episode, though. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.